sky, wars, and rumors of wars. I tell you, before it comes, that when they come to pass, you may believe that I am He. Return unto me, and I will return unto you. Return unto you. Repent. 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 Behold, I come quickly. Good day and grace unto you. Many of you know me, but for those of you who don't, I am Ambassador Chantro Davis of Preach, Be a Voice, Not an Echo Ministry. Welcome to Roar of the Ruach. The focus of this broadcast is Kingdom Watchings, A Call for Repentance, Warning, Rebuke, Prophetic News and Updates, Sounding the Alarm of Judgment and of the Sword. Warning the wicked, according to Ezekiel 33, 7-9, and warning the righteous, according to Ezekiel 3 and 20. Indeed, the Ruach is ruined, so stop, turn back, for the time of no remedy is fast approaching, and for some, it is already upon them. Let's get into today's information. Good day, beloved, and thank you for joining me today on Roar of the Ruach. I am Ambassador Chantrell Davis. This broadcast is brought to you by Preach, Be a Voice, Not an Echo Ministries. This is a broadcast for prophetic news, warning, and updates on dreams and vision and all things biblically related to Bible prophecy in the news. Let's get right into today's message. Today is May the 2nd of 2018, and it is 2.17 p.m. Central Time. Proverbs 29 and 18 reads, where there is no vision, the people perish. Second Chronicles 36 and 16, but they mocked the messengers of God and despised his words until the wrath of the Lord arose till there was no remedy. And 1 John 44 and 6 reads, he that knoweth God heareth us and he that knoweth not God heareth us not. Thus all the mockers and the scoffers which are coming in great abundance against the true remnant of God. Stay strong, keep your head up for the Lord said these times will come. They are here and you are well able to overcome them for you are more than conquerors through Christ who loves you. Let's move forward. John 13 and 19. Now I tell you before it come to pass that when it come to pass, you may believe that I am he. This is not only the biblical principle of dreams and vision, but this is also as he speaks to you, Rhema, that you may, he may, you may always know that you know his voice and that you belong to him. I am warning that a sword is coming. We all know a sword is already up on the land and I'm blowing the trumpet as not only a prophetess of the uh, Lord, but I'm also a minister and a dispenser of the gospel, the fire of the gospel that will not be put out and we are to warn. So according to Ezekiel 33, 1 through 4, the sword is up on this land and as birth pains, it is increasing. Uh, just pay attention. Everyone with spiritual eyes can see this and discern this. We're going forth. This vision was delivered by Preach Bill Voice, not an echo ministry. Um, it is fulfilled and fulfilling as this is what the Lord has been giving me, that the things he has shown me, some of them will happen repeatedly as birth pangs, they will worsen. Um, this vision was uh, given to me May 10th of 2016, and I delivered it May 10th of 2016, fallen planes, helicopters, military plane, passenger planes, and there was blood for even fighter jets. And we know we have seen all of those things falling from the air. I mean, specifically, even the ones that carried the families and the cargo helicopters with the two blades. He showed me all those, and we are watching them fall out of the sky, and they have been falling out of the sky since I had this vision in 2016, and they have increased. Increased uh, at this time. Anyone paying attention can clearly see that. Let's go forth. This was the original artwork. Um, I wish I could have found the double blade copter then, but you know, we work with what we can work with. You get the point. And any of you can go back and listen to this dream, which I will put in the bottom of this video so you can listen to it yourself. The things that I described, the hovercrafts, the, the, the fighter jets and the passenger planes, there were all manners of plane falling from the sky. And again, I say even hovercrafts, okay? 
I saw a hovercraft fall. Things that people don't think exist, I saw fall. Okay? Some of these things are going to be from 2016 to 2017. And this is just to show a few links for you because any of you can Google these and find any of them from the date of this. And it, it, it started immediately and has only increased uh, from the moment he gave the vision of these planes falling back to back. And you can see here a military plane crashed in Mississippi and it left 16 dead. And this was posted, uh, updated on 9.44 a.m. And this was July 2017. Okay. Here, a Marine Corps plane crash. We can see that this Marine Corps plane crashed in Mississippi on July 12th of 2017. Here, we had seven U.S. service members killed in Iraq helicopter crash. And this was March 17th of 2018, reporting on CNN. If you type it in, of course, you're going to see multiple of these. Here's another military plane with five people on board crashes near Savannah. And this was done today um, on the highway. And this is not the first one on the highway um, in these last few months. I'm just giving you a few. And, and of course, they are very easy to find. But we got to keep uh, we have to keep moving. Here, a military plane crash in Nigeria kills 257 families, uh, soldiers and families. And I was specifically shown uh, soldiers and families on these large, large military planes coming out of the air. Here you can see six killed in a plane crash in Arizona on the Gulf, and this was on April 10th, 2018. And trust me, there are many more of these. I just showed you a few, but there are many more crashes of uh, single planes, personal planes, every form of plane that he showed me, I have watched fall out the sky. This is 2018. Um, this is basically telling us that uh, there have been three deadly commercial passenger planes. And this was uh, uh, just at the beginning of 2018. Here it shows February 11th in Savitar Airlines plane crashes in Russia, southeast of Moscow, killing all 65 passengers and six crew members. On February 19th in Iraq, um, a same, uh, a same airlines crash, uh, 14,500 above sea level on Mount Dina, all 66 people on the plane were killed. We see on March 12th, um, search and rescue in Nepal, eight passengers are missing from the wreckage. Okay. And that's just to show you a few. I am warning the wicked, according to Ezekiel 33, seven through nine, tell them from me, says the Lord, I'm warning the wicked. But whoa, I'm also warning the righteous, according to Ezekiel 3 and 20. Those of you who think you cannot be spewed out of his mouth, that is a loss of salvation. You can only spew something out that was once in you. And though the Bible tells us that we who are in him, we, our life is hid in him. So if he spews you out, you were once in him. So I'm warning the righteous, according to Ezekiel 3 and 20, that you need to choose this day whom you're going to serve. You can't straddle the fence anymore. There's no more plans fast and loose with the Lord. This is the time of the giving over. He who is holy, let him be holy still. He who is just, let him be just still. He who is clean, let him be clean still. Let me put that in layman's turn. He who is rat ratchet, let him be ratchet still. He who is double-minded, let him be double-minded still. He who is a liar, let him be a liar still. Who He who is jealous, let him be a jealous still. He who is a marker, let him be a marker still. Still, you get the point. I'm warning the righteous and judgment begins with the household. The, according to the word of God in Jeremiah 2 and 19, your own wickedness will correct you and your own backslidings will reprove you. You can read this on your own time. Jeremiah 2 verse 19. The Bible tells us to return unto me and he will return unto you. According to Malachi 3 and 7 and Acts 3 and 19 says, repent ye therefore that ye may be converted. Repent. And it comes to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. This is Acts 2 and 17 through 21. I'm going to read verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That is whosoever. Not whatsoever you did. Whosoever calls his name. What you have done does not matter because you have never been what you've done. So you have the option to repent. You don't go to hell for sin. You go to hell for rejecting the one and only Savior. That is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yeshua HaMashiach. Mashiach in any language you say it in it is Christ our Lord return unto him this has been Roar the Ruach 
prophetic warning news and updates. I'm Ambassador Chantrell Davis. Thank you so much for joining me today. God bless you and grace be with you. I love you all. Well, that's all we have for you today. But in closing, brothers and sisters, we are in the last days. Remember the word of God warns, behold, I'm against you, almost proud. So return unto the Lord and he'll return unto you. Now is the time of your salvation. Choose this day who you will serve. Life and death has been set before you. Choose life that you may live. And I want all watching to know, the Lord is not willing that any should perish, but he is desiring for everyone to come to repentance. So repent, call upon the name of Jesus, who is Christ our Lord. Be ye reconciled that you might be saved. This is Ambassador Chantrell Davis announcing the coming of the glorious kingdom of God. Let the Lord be magnified. Again, thank you for joining me today on Roar of the Ruach. Until next time, stay watchful and stay prayerful.